वेलकम गाइस दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 21 ऑफ नेट जून 2018 एंड इट्स अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ एनालिसिस फ्रॉम द पार्ट बी ऑफ द पेपर सो लेट अस फर्स्टली रीड इट गिवन ए एन कॉमा बी एन बी टू मोनोटोन सीक्वेंसेस ऑफ रियल नंबर एंड दैट समेशन ए एन बी एन इज कन्वर्जेंट देन व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर ट्रू ओके सो व्हाट इज गिवन टू अस दैट ए एन and b and r are two sequences okay so you have two sequences which are monotone which are monotone okay they can be either be uh, decreasing or can be increasing okay so they are monotone and this thing converges is the, this thing is convergent okay so you see this thing is convergent now what question is asking the first option is saying that summation a and is convergent and summation bn is convergent okay so come i am coming back to the option 1 so what option 1 is saying that summation an is convergent and summation bn is convergent so if they are saying that if an and bn are monotone sequences with this condition happening then both are convergent series okay so i will take a counter example for this thing because if you take an to be 1 over n cube okay let us take an to be 1 over n cube now you see this one is monotonically decreasing so it satisfies the criteria bn is n so it is monotonically increasing so you have taken both both the sequences to be monotone also you see what will be the product the product will be 1 over n square now what you see that summation an dot bn is equal to summation 1 over n square now if you remember the p test okay in the series series part of the okay if you remember the p test in the series then you must have noticed that if p is greater than 1 okay so this type of series converges okay only if p is greater than 1 so you see your p is in this case is actually 2 therefore this converges okay this thing is convergent you have taken two monotone sequences with this thing convergent so that will directly imply that your first option is incorrect okay because this one summation bn is actually equal to summation n which is equal to infinity so this thing is divergent therefore first option is incorrect you got my point you have taken a counter example so this one is incorrect now coming for the next option so what second option is saying that at least one of summation an and summation bn must be convergent so uh, what option b is saying that if you take two sequences okay a uh, monotone sequences with this convergent then at least one of them must be convergent so what i will do i will take an to be 1 over n and bn to be 1 over n now what you see that your product is an dot bn that will be 1 over n square and that will be summation an dot bn will be summation 1 over n square and this thing by p test you know that this thing is convergent so you see your sequences are decreasing monotonically decreasing and this thing converges so it satisfies the criteria given in the question but neither this one is convergent nor this one is convergent by the p test okay what is this one this one is summation 1 over n so you see summation 1 over n since p is equal to 1 therefore by p test this is divergent so both the sequence uh, both the series are divergent so second option is also false now i'm i'm coming for the option third so what third option is saying that an is bounded and bn is bounded okay so uh, what uh, question is saying that an is bounded and bn is bounded so what i will do i will take the example of first in the third okay as in one so you take an is equal to 1 over n cube and bn is equal to n now you see your product converges but this one bn sequence okay this sequence bn is actually not bounded therefore your third option is incorrect okay now what do you see that it's a single correct question so therefore 
your fourth option must be correct okay but uh, uh, since you are in a preparation time so you don't have to discard options and tick the correct one what you have to do the the option which is correct you must uh, you, sh you should prove it okay without proving it if you are uh, proceeding to the next question then it will be little bit harmful because uh, you, you will be lacking some uh, some knowledge there okay so if you prove the option 4 then uh, this will uh, this will be helpful in your next exam okay so i what i will do i will firstly prove the fourth one okay you know it's correct but you have to prove it uh, to get to go, uh, gain more knowledge okay so what fourth one is saying that if you take an and bn to be monotone okay monoton and summation an dot bn to be convergent then at least one of an and bn must be bounded this is what question is saying okay so what i will do suppose i am assuming that an and bn are both okay un bounded this is what i am assuming now you have taken a n and b n to be unbounded now it is given in the question that they are monotonically okay they are monotone sequences so either they will be monotonically increasing or they will be monotonically uh, decreasing okay so if you take a n and b n to be both monotonically increasing okay i will take the case one firstly that a n and b n are monotonically increasing okay now you have taken a n and b n to be monotonically increasing and they are unbounded okay therefore this thing will imply that a n must go to infinity and b n must go to infinity you are getting my point since they are okay uh, i will write this thing as limit n tends to infinity is equal to infinity and limit n tends to infinity b n is equal to infinity so this is what we can conclude okay so if they are not monotone okay if it is given in the question that they are not monotone then you can not write this thing because let us take a sequence okay one two one three one four okay this if this is your sequence okay if this thing is your sequence now you see this sequence is unbounded okay but you cannot conclude that limit n tends to infinity okay let us take this as a n a n is equal to infinity because this thing is unbounded but it is not uh, okay it is not monotonic okay it is actually oscillatory so if uh, you, uh, the limit n tends to infinity actually does not exist here does not exist what i am trying to say i am trying to uh, make you understand the meaning of monotone here okay the importance of monotone what is the importance of monotone here so since they are monotone therefore you are going to write this thing okay otherwise you have a counter for this if you take a n to be like this then your limit does not exist but since you are in a monotone thing therefore you can write this thing now what i have done what i have assumed that a n and b n are both unbounded from this thing you are getting this now what is given to you it is given to you that a n dot b n converges okay this is what given to you now if you have studied the series part of the analysis then you must have studied the necessary condition for the series convergence okay so if your series is like this summation un is your series then summation un converges okay if this thing converges then it will directly imply that un must go to zero okay as n tends to infinity so this is known as the necessary condition for the series convergence what i mean to say that if summation un converges then limit n tends to infinity un must go to zero this is what the meaning of uh, necessary condition here now since this is convergent therefore what you are going to get by the necessary condition of series convergence you are going you will get that summation a n dot b n must go to zero so not infinity it must go to zero as n tends to infinity now you see limit can be separated so just separate the limit so what you will get you will get this thing Uh, bn okay now what is this thing this thing is actually infinity from here you are getting this thing as infinity from here what is your what you are getting you are getting infinity 
so you are you are getting infinity actually you are getting infinity is equal to zero from this thing this thing is infinity this thing is infinity their product is infinity so you are getting infinity is equal to zero which is a contradiction you are getting my point this thing is a contradiction therefore what uh, what you have assumed is wrong suppose a and b and are both unbounded so this one is your wrong statement that you have assumed okay now rest of the cases uh, i will left for you okay what you have to take just take a and to be monotonically increasing and b and to be monotonically decreasing and the third case that a n and b n are both monotonically decreasing okay there there will be three cases the first one you have taken that both are monotonically increasing the second one you may take that both are monotonically decreasing third one you will take that if a n is monotonically increasing and b n will be monotonically decreasing okay so just try to prove them using this thing okay it's, it will be very similar to this thing okay nothing will be changed there okay just you have to uh, think over the question so remaining cases this one is the first case okay this is the case one the remaining two cases i i am uh, i am leaving for you as exercise so just try to prove them yourself so the fourth option is correct so thank you guys